Peace, love, and light. Thank you for being here this morning with me, Beyond the Spectrum Tarot. Um, today is, today's the 9th of June, and the only reason why I'm saying the date, because my reads are timeless, is because of what I felt last night with the lack of the moon. And I, I understand that Saturn and Jupiter in conjunction with the moon still doesn't explain why the moon wasn't seen in the sky last night for like a, quite some time. Probably feeling like it was low, below the equator, almost. Um, I did have a friend message me who lives on the other side of um, Cape, where I live, and uh, let me know, you know, like about midnight, yeah, the moon's there. Couldn't even see the moonlight, and there was not a cloud in the sky. And I um, walked outside about 10 o'clock last night, and I felt like I walked into a wall of, uh, it didn't feel good. It, it didn't feel good at all. <laughs> I'm just going to say it like that. Um, I'm not sure where this reading is going to go. I'm really compelled to do this reading because of what I felt last night. Um, I also am in the understanding there were rituals done on the full moon. Which would explain what I felt last night when I opened my door and walked into a wall of of uh, darkness. It was an eerie dark. It wasn't a regular, oh, it's dark out. No. There was a heaviness. I could see, like, the energy in the, in, in the air. And, um, you know, we do not live in a 3D world. We live in a super, very supernatural world. And a lot of us, you know, not that we haven't been awoken to it, but we're now seeing more. More is being revealed because we are, we work with Archangel Michael. Most of us, anyone, most whoever sees this video, most likely you do too. Um, you work with the angels here. You came in on the three waves of the awakening for Gaia. We came in three waves, and I am one of those waves to help Gaia, to help humanity ascend, to help wake up humanity, for them to see what we've really truly been living in, existing in. And I do. I believe we're in some kind of Stargate right now. All right, Stargate. The sun is a portal. Okay, the sun is a portal. We're dealing with portals here. We're definitely dealing with portals being opened. And that's kind of... I'm getting a... Um, I don't know how to explain it. What Archangel Michael's showing... Like, how he's showing me. But he's showing me, like, stepped aside. Stepped aside. You know, that goes back to biblical... Uh, three days of darkness. Stepped aside. Um, because... Things have to be cleared up here. They have to be cleared up. Karmically, we are here untying karma to awaken people, to let them know they don't have to keep repeating karma. You know, that's the illusion. Karma is the illusion. Walk your truth. Walk your truth. We're walking our truth now, and it's, wake it's not going over so well. <laughs> it's not. You know, with chaos, it, the chaos is for a reason. It's bringing tribes together, the higher higher light, our light workers together. And it is, it, it's bringing our light workers together. We're finding each other um, to work together, to raise the vibration, to bring awareness. Um... We have the power to shift our own reality. We truly do. Yeah, stay connected with Creator Source, our Heavenly Father. But we are Source. We are of Him. Her, the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine. We definitely have, have, um, have higher energies, a council watching over us. Yeah, it keeps coming up. This is about Nibiru and what Nibiru is bringing in. 
in Blue Stock China. He's, you know, that's Christ. He's here. Um, totally forgot my, where I was going with that. The awakening. People seeing the shape shifting. We have higher beings watching over us. Maybe we are a science experiment. I don't really know, but I do know that we have a higher intelligence overseeing us, along with source, obviously, but no, like, it's, it's, um, they even have levels, you know, and there's levels to everything, um, and, and whether it's just Earth or, or, like, our particular galaxy that's overseen, um, but we're being overseen, and the moon is definitely some kind of space station portal, um, it's not a rock in the sky. It's not. And I, I believe the people who come across my channel already are aware of this. And if you're not, you're going to be. The moon is not a rock in the sky that broke off from planet Earth during its, you know, Big Bang. It's the... <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. The levels. Just the levels. The levels. The sky, the veil's thin in the sky, our, the spirits in the sky, they're here. They're here, they're showing us. I have so many photographs of entities in the sky. And it's not just because my brain wants to see this entity. No, no, the entity is there. Our eyes, our third eye has been so shut down. They've kept it shut down for a reason. And, the, you know, scripture speaks about this. The sky will roll up like a scroll. And all will be revealed and hearts will fail. I feel that we're in the precursor of this. Absolutely. So let's just see where this reading goes. Because I'm very interested in the, these energies that I'm feeling. And I'd like some, hopefully, Archangel Michaels and Metatron, Gabriel, and uh, Raziel as well. Show me what's going on to let go. I mean, this is kind of what I'm feeling like we're in right now. And this is the light, the tunnel. We're in like a gateway, um, Stargate. And I really felt that last night. I felt the past few times I've been feeling like we're in this vacuum of some sort. But there is source light at the end of the tunnel. We're being brought through like an initiation to bring balance balance to, to the order of, of things. I was getting that I am, and the attitude of gratitude brings in that light. It brings in the divine light to outshine the dark, to expose the darkness. Because these things don't know how to have gratitude. They don't have a consciousness. They don't. Most, most of them don't. The ones that are here don't. They're trying to keep us asleep. And this is what that, you know, one of my reads I got about the potions you know, I, I feel like there's something to do with that. That potion, I'm just going to say that. That potion that may change our DNA or block our spirituality. There's a reason why they're pushing it so much. And, it, and it's not for health. Because again, we're not in no 3D world. This is, this is supernatural. This is very supernatural. Um, it's not some conspiracy anything. It just is. It's really what's reality. The conspiracy is the 3D. Definitely. Anyway, I want to see what Archangel Michael would like to share with us. Seeing and seeing the true you. And I feel like that's us as a collective here. Heaven sent. And I feel like that's us here, the light workers, bringing this in. Because we are the temple template. To bring heaven on earth. We have to follow our own rhythm. Tr meaning trusting the process. Trusting spirit. Listening and being guided by spirit. We, we're, yeah, we're releasing allegiances. And we are. And that would be the shapeshifters here and all that. Releasing those alle allegiances. Are allowing them to, to get in our head. And have these attachments, you know, are, a lot of light workers are in recovery. They're releasing what the world 
his true, um, how do I say that? Because I'm not, listen, we make a choice, you know, it, but the world puts it out there, the temptation. It's, it's bringing in a brighter light to resist the temptation to release these legions, which would be create a source, because there's nothing more powerful than create a source. Of all that there is, nothing more powerful than God. Nothing. Nothing. Messiah, Yeshua, nothing is more powerful than the Messiah. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And this goes back to that when we first come in, our soul, our soul knowing. Our soul knows. Our soul already knows this. Now it's our, our 3D, our taking that step, that releasing, trusting, trusting the guidance that the angels and Yeshua are showing us. We, may, we have to let go of this. Okay, you can't bring, when you're going in through the light, we have to be released of, released, we have to release this stuff first. And we're in the middle of it. Seven year tribulation, we're in the middle of it. We're halfway through. I keep hearing we're halfway there living on a prayer. I just keep hearing that a lot lately. So, and I'm going with it because that's how my guides talk to me. I'm really hoping this is making sense so far. All right. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Let's see what else you want to show us What these changes. Because something shifted again. A ritual was done or something. I can feel it. I can absolutely feel. Last night, I could feel something much larger than us was here. Now, whether it was able to block the moon, why not? I, I, that would be arrogant for me to say, oh, no, no, that's just, like, conspiracy thinking. No, no. The people that say that are the ones that have the, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude, but they have, they, they're the narrow-minded thinkers. I trust. I trust. And it hasn't been wrong. And it's not about being right or wrong. Just I trust. I trust the Messiah. I love Yeshua. He is my divine masculine. Archangel Michael. They're my divine masculines. For real, you know. And um, that's the ultimate divine masculine. Yeshua. The Archangel Michael. You know, they're, that, 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 I don't know. I just, <laughs> I don't hope that makes sense. Yes, we have missions here in the 3D. And some of our people have that essence. Our, our, our um, partner here that we split off from, is, it took on that essence of Archangel Michael, the angels, because we are in the angelic realm here. Yeah, look at, we came down here to work together. We're being overseen. And look at the changes it's bringing in. This is kind of where we're at right now. It's all <sighs> revelations, tribulations feeling. But um, through that is the, is the light. And it's coming through the portal. That portal is ours. That is our Father, our Heavenly Son. That's the Son. The Son of the Heavenly Father. Shining the light, helping us down here. Helping us do our work. We have to tap in. Keep tapping in. Yes, to bring the balance in. Because everyone is kung fu fighting down here in the realms. Everyone's kung fu fighting in the realms. There are wars and there are battles going on in the realms right now. It's not just us. This is why we're being affected and why this is all going on in our realm, too. Everybody's watching. Everybody's watching us in every realm of existence. And they're highly concerned. This is what we should be doing more of. Gathering. Whether If we can't physically be together, then without them knowing... Because that's another thing, posting on, and I know it's hard, but when you're posting online saying you're going to do a gathering at this certain date, the draconians know, and they'll manipulate it. 
We have to keep it off grid when we do this. When we meditate together, we have to keep everything off grid. Can't go online. Can't let them know online. Got to figure out a different way. And there is a different way. Because the gathering, the great gathering is here. Yes, everything is aligned and everything is for a reason, but we're part of that as well. We're part of that alignment to bring heaven to earth. We will be living this. I truly believe this. I truly believe, like, well, like Lemuria, all, all this, you know, the beautifulness, like, I believe probably Hawaii was a piece of Lemuria or Atlantis. Paradise. Paradise on, on this grid. Because nothing's ever going to be the same again. And, and we're making this bliss. We have the power to bring in this eternal bliss. And to live in eternal bliss. We're actually promised this. We're promised this. It's kind of like, okay, I'm understanding this. Yep. These... Okay, they're definitely doing ritual. They're definitely doing rituals. The dark ones. Shiva. To bring in the destruction. Okay? We're going to start seeing this stuff with the weather. We already are. And I keep saying that pretty much every video I channel that about the weather. And significant. Not just like significant shifts. We've already shifted... Like, I think 10 to 13 degrees. That's that's significant. We really have a sun behind our sun that's creating all this disruption. And it's for a reason. It's to bring back universal balance. The seeds that are planted. That we came out down here. Star seeds. We are the star seeds. We're loyal to our mission to bring in the divine light. The three. The trinity. The true trinity, not the brick and mortar. The true trinity. Mother Gaia, Yeshua, our Heavenly Father. We are gods. I'm going to say that one more time. We are gods. We have to tap into our God DNA because they're waking it up for us. Our star family is absolutely waking up our, D, our star DNA. We have 12 strands of DNA. We don't use all of them. We're going to start using them all. It's happening. We are in a birth right now. And this keeps coming up that we're in a birth. We are in the tunnel. The birth canal. Call it a stargate. Call it a birth canal. However you have to label that for you, we're in it. And there's an elephant in one of the... One of the uh, it's interesting, there was an elephant in one of the sky pictures I saw recently. Elephant never forgets, it's knowledgeable, it's tribal. Um, it's like she's bringing heaven to earth, but a different, different earth, if that makes sense. I hope I'm conveying that. I hope I'm conveying that right. I am trying, Archangel Michael. It's not easy to what I hear and to put it into um, 3D context it can be very difficult and because we have an alignment. We are aligning actually with Nibiru in July, I believe. We're actually aligning with Nibiru. And once we move away, and once that alignment um, shifts again, that's when. We're going to see way more significant change here on earth than we are. But we have to trust that our God, that there's a, there is total, as I say, trust, surrender. Surrender to the process. Don't be a doormat for the process. Surrender the light. Stay in the light. Our light is so powerful. Way more powerful than we can even imagine. But we have to start imagining it. Okay, what you think about, you bring about what you manifest. You got We got to be manifesting the, the utmost divine light, and, and we are, and we are, because it's showing it. It's showing with the shifts, the chaos. They're trying to lock us down. They're trying to lock us down. They're trying to force us to change. They're afraid of us. They're afraid of us. I could hear that ringing as I said that. 
Thank you, Archangel Michael. He protects us. Archangel Michael is definitely protecting us from things we cannot see and things we do not understand. Empathy brings in the, the lotus, the light. Empathy helps the alignment, that compassion, because they lack it. Where they lack, we bring to for the balance. When I said that it was my timer was two zero two two. Okay, Raphael, what would you like to share? What does the collective need to know? Your yeah, evolution, Sandalphon. Evolution. Our faith is bringing in the evolution. And it is. It's, it's bringing alignment with all the stars and the planets. Enchantment, which would be, I mean, that's Archangel Michael. What we would consider enchantment is really not. It, it's doing the work. It's, it's being, you know, the healer, the everything that you are, whatever that is, you know, and light worker. You're a light worker. Call in the work on your enchantment. Strengthen, strengthen the the faith, the prayers, the the mantras you do. Um, that's enchanting, okay? Because we are not in three D. We are in esoteric. Pull in more esoteric light for this alignment. Our faith is strong, okay? Faith is really a real thing, and it's strong. It beats the darkness every time, and it does. I'm living proof of it. I'm absolutely living proof of it. I'm here to tell you. The darkness has had me in its grips before, and I beat it every day with the light. I overcome it every day with the light. These energies have been very trudging. Compassion, balance again. To bring in the joy and the divine intelligence. We're being downloaded. We're getting downloads from like the book of universal knowledge. We're getting downloads. Metatron's bringing that in. Now I get, I don't get twin souls with this. The, um, ah, uh, la, 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 la. Oh my God, my brain, come on. Um, the psychic connection. The psychic connection. What about the psychic connection? Joe Feel brings in the joy. When we communicate on a 3D, not 3D level, a an esoteric, like, um, oh my God, what's the word I'm looking for? Archangel Michael, help me with this one. Um, Light some more sage, hold on. I really feel like something's trying to interfere. Metatron, thank you. Clear this energy. Clear the any, any and all low vibrational energy. Send it back to where it came from. Thank you, Archangel Michael. I don't mind my dog. <laughs> all right, let's see. what What is this divine intelligence and bringing in the balance with the joy? Yeah, there's a storm. We're in a storm. It's coming. I'm feeling it. And I am. I'm feeling this storm. It's a supernatural storm that's going to affect us in this 3D world. Take flight. Take flight. This is a metamorphosis into the light. This is a metamorphosis into the light. I've been getting a lot of metamorphosis coming in. People um, crossing over as well. You know, God rest their soul. We are having contact. We are having celestial contact, to be exact. Um, we, I feel like we have to keep going within to eternal bliss. I don't, I keep getting that. I've been getting that for a year. Go within to eternal bliss. Um, 
because we are a multi-dimensional being having a temporary human experience. We have to go within our higher selves, connect with our higher selves. Our, we are celestial. We are. We are celestial. We need to get back to that. Fairy magic. Yeah, we are a little magical. We are. That's beautiful. We are. Fairy magic is real. Magic is real. It brings change. It shifts the vibration. Our belief in it as well shifts the vibration. It brings in the metamorphosis. It brings in the change. It absolutely brings in the change. I want to read Take Flight. It's time to come out of seclusion. <laughs> yep. We've been in like a cocoon. You no longer need to hide or try to protect yourself from the world around you. You are moving into a new stage of, of your life while stepping out of out is important for your emotional, mental, and spiritual growth. It's, it's time to start making new friends and social connections. The tribes are coming together. Um, you may find yourself being drawn to join groups, classes. And basically, trust your instincts of where you're being drawn to go socially. It is the butterfly is drawn to the flower's nectar. You will find that getting out into the world and being with others will be a source of soul food for you. Through these interactions with people and groups, you will start to feel more confident in yourself. You will see and feel yourself blossoming in a very natural and comfortable way. The energy of the butterfly is gentle, joyful, purposeful. You will direct, you will directly experience the energy and ex exude, exude it as you move out of into your social surroundings. Not only is that important part of development, developing self-esteem and a sense of belonging, is a vital piece of your discovery of your gifts and special talents. Your soul is ready to shine its light. We are there. Star family, we are there to shine the light on the darkness to expose the darkness and to ascend ourselves. We can't forget that. We have to remember ourselves too. Be brave and let your let yourself out of the cocoon of protection you have that you have created. You cannot fight your destiny. You can only fight yourself. It's time to take flight. That makes sense. Celestial contact. It's divine energies of the benevolent beings who are here to assist you with the human journey of incarnation. Perhaps you have been struggling to understand exactly what your purpose or soul's role is on earth. You could, you could doubt whether you even have a purpose or if you had any special gifts or qualities. This card has come to, to you today to reassure you that you are indeed uniquely gifted in your own special way. The celestial beings who love and support you here want to ease your worry and doubt. Most people find their purpose almost if by accident. And although it would be nice to have a magical scroll fall from the heavens, <laughs> which stated clearly what we are here to do, it isn't going to happen that way. We must discover this for ourselves. It is the act of struggle and effort itself which reveals to us our strengths and gifts. Each unique aspect of you in your life path is revealed in its own divine time. Your divine celestial beings are asking you to hold on to your faith. Faith came out in one of the cards. So did um, Joy. Um, to, to have faith, to trust the journey of discovery you are take trust the journey of discovery you are taking and to believe in yourself they ask that you simply take action and step forward whether you feel confident or not it's the movement forward that matters most here don't give up it's the movement that matters the most moving that energy shifting that vibration contact Life's great synchronicities and alignment of fateful events is very dependent on our contact with connections with other people. Again, it's our tribe. We're vibing our tribe. 
You have drawn this card today because it's important for you to make contact with someone in particular in your life. This one-on-one -on -one communication could be by phone, email, text message, or in person. In whatever way that contact happens, it's important that you reach out. Sometimes we resist or procrastinate doing the very thing that will help to move us along our path. The contact card is asking that you look at whatever resistance you may have and gently push yourself forward to do what needs to be done. Perhaps you need to contact someone and deal with an emotional issue you would rather avoid. Maybe you have neglected speaking with a family member, a loved one, or a friend. Do you need to get past your fear of making a business call? Spirit is asking that you be brave and make contact with a certain individual. The stagnant energy that is being held through your resistance needs to be released and cleared. That's releasing the, um, this, yeah, releasing allegiances. These all, like, are going interconnected. This is a, yep, this makes total sense to me. All right, um, I'm going to use, um, the Wisdom of Avalon from any more messages. I'm going to try to do a couple more reads. I feel like this is to be broken up into different, I don't know, different sections of messages. High Priestess, yeah. Discernment. Uh, Prescience, prophecy, and vision. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is powerful. When you forgive yourself, forgive another, release that. High Priestess and Protection. Yep. Let's read the Protection. X marks the spot. Protection. This marker reminds you to protect yourself and to be wary of hidden agendas. Are you being too open? Perhaps you don't realize it. But you may find that you're a target for others, especially if you're shining bright. Yet this isn't a time to dim your light. Rather, remember that a spiritual warrior or priestess, huh, and that came out too, would always learn to how to camouflage him or herself and be armed against potential attack. This is about the right use of power rather than the use of force. The, for, the former coming from a place of higher calibra calibrated integrity, the latter from a lower base of destruction energy. Remember to walk the higher ground, but wear a cloak for protection. Ask your guides and angels to protect you, for they will always come if they're asked. And be moderate in all you do. This isn't the place to take risks. I'm here. I'm definitely heeding this call. This marker also lets you know that the subject of your inquiry cannot in any way hurt you as long as you ask for protection. The divine will give it. Through these times, we have, must bring in our protection, our spiritual army. So maybe I won't be doing, I don't know. I might just do a twin read later, but I wanted to tap into a bit to understand what energies we're dealing with here. I kind of want, this is calling me too. And the high priestess came out too. So we are high priestess, Merlin. We are magic and we have to be protect ourselves from the gremlins. That made total sense. Yep, the grail. We're being, we're being, we're in the middle of the tunnel like a, we're being knighted, if you will. We're being knighted by spirit. Pulling that protection. I wanted to read, um, This particular card, the Dragon Guide. <laughs> yeah, this is a guide. I love it. Dragon is here to help you take a stand in your life. Others may have strong opinions about what you should be doing or how you should be doing it. It could also be that others are interfering when they should not be. Dragon has come to help you stand firm for what you believe is right, even if that means breathing a little fire to get your point across. Don't worry, it will be okay. Dragon is here to help you claim your power and your right to live your life as you see best. I know, I hear you, Mama. My dog is needing me, so I'm going to wrap this reading up. I thank you for joining me and chilling with me, and, and um, I hope this made sense to you. Um, I'm going to be reading on these energies that are coming in. Um, so, 
stand by and thank you again. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you have a beautiful day. I am beyond the spectrum tarot. And if you would like a reading on your situation, you know, on your personal level, I am at uh, my information is just in the description box below. Beyond the spectrum tarot at yahoo.com. Peace, love, and light. Have a beautiful day.